Hello friends, welcome to my channel Chaos and Cryptography. In the first video of the series, I have explained what is chaos and why chaos plays a vital role in crypto system. If you haven't watched it, I recommend you to watch it to have more insight on the properties of chaos. This video is a continuation of the series. At the end of this video, you will learn how to use the chaotic maps for encryption. So stay tuned till the end. In this video, you will learn some popular chaotic maps. Then we'll move on to the bifurcation diagram of the logistic map. And finally, we'll be seeing how to generate the key for a crypto system with various values of control parameter. So in this video, I will be highlighting the importance of selecting the right control parameter value for generating the key for a good crypto system. The chaotic maps are broadly categorized as one-dimensional map and multi-dimensional map. Under one-dimensional map, the logistic map, sign map, tent map and Arnold cat map are popular examples. In the category of multi-dimensional map, the Henon map and two-dimensional logistic map are common example. Any of these maps can be used for the key generation of the crypto system. But before using them, it is very crucial to understand the dynamic behavior of the map and the control parameter range where they behave chaotically. Now coming to the interesting part of the video. Here we are going to visualize the dynamic behavior of the logistic map which is expressed as xn plus 1 is equal to rxn into 1 minus xn, where r is the control parameter. Now, how are we going to visualize this behavior? This visualization is done with the help of the diagram called the bifurcation diagram, where the plot is done between r and x. That is, as we vary the value of r, the different values of x is being plotted. Here we can also identify the bifurcation points. These are the points where the chaotic map changes topologically. Now you will be really interested to see how the logistic map behaves under different conditions of R. For R less than 3, the logistic map is stable. At r equal to 3, it undergoes period doubling and oscillates between two points. Again, this region is periodic. At r equal to 3.5, it again bifurcates and oscillates between four points. After a cascade of period doubling, at approximately 3.567, you can visualize the onset of chaos. It is also interesting to see three periodic windows. The darker region is a chaotic regime. Now coming to the essence of the video. You have now understood the logistic map. If I ask you to use this map for the key generation of a crypto system, which value will you choose? Now it's time to experiment the logistic map. To select the value of R for key generation, the different values of X are generated. In order to remove the transit effect, the first few values are ignored. This table on the screen shows the values of X for R is equal to 2. You can see that X holds the value 0 0.5 for all values of R is equal to 2. That is, the logistic map is stable. The second table displays the value of x for r is equal to 3.3. Here the x value oscillates between the two points which are approximately 0 0.47 and 0 0.82. Now consider r is equal to 3.83. The x values are shown in the third column. It is interesting to find a pattern here. This is because of the presence of the periodic window near 3.83. 
Now I take r is equal to 3.93 and the values of x are displayed in the last column. I give you 3 seconds to closely observe the nature of x. Okay, so what did you notice? There is no pattern as seen in the previous columns. No repeated values and also most importantly, no values that are very close. That is, it is not periodic. These values are called the chaotic values. We have reached the pinnacle of the video, that is, how to generate a strong key for encryption. Considering the previous values of R, the first is R is equal to 2. Here I have generated a key with R equal to 2. As it generated only periodic values, the key also reflects periodicity and pattern. Similarly for R is equal to 3.3, we observe a pattern in the key. The third key is generated with R is equal to 3.83. Though it seems to be a good choice, we can still observe a pattern marked in green because R is equal to 3.83 is in the periodic window. The last is R is equal to 3.93. The key is perfect without any pattern. This key is chaotic and non-linear. So selecting the R value from the chaotic regime is very crucial for generating a strong key for encryption. You have now understood that it is not only fascinating to use chaotic maps for encryption, but it is also highly recommended to understand the dynamic behavior of the chaotic map for selecting the right control parameter. In the next video, you will learn more on the test used to understand the dynamic behavior of the chaotic map. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel.